I'm Dr. Lana Staley. I'm a coach on relationships and life strategies, and I'm the author of the book called Bounce Be Transform and the founder of what became a grassroots movement called Bounce. And out of Bounce came Bounce Circles uh, that we have on a regular basis for people who want to implement what they've learned in the Bounce book. And as I was trying to figure out how can we make this so that it's simple to do every day because you can you get this stuff and you read a book and you think oh yeah I'll do that I'll do that I'll do that and within a week you've forgotten so what we what I did and I came up with an acronym called mental which is move experience nourish touch appreciate and laugh and don't ask me how I came up with that it just came but if you do those things on every day, you get lots of endorphins. So first is move. Now, I'm somebody who does not like to exercise. If you told me that exercise was bad for me, I'd be the happiest girl on the planet. But it's not so. I make myself walk every morning. I take my little dog and we go for a little walk. And then I got a little pedometer so that I can do my 10,000 steps and get there. It doesn't matter what you do. It matters that you move. Take the steps instead of the elevator. Park a little further from the door at the store. Carry your own groceries. Just move. Find ways you move. If you like to swim, swim. Just do something that you can get yourself to do. And I don't care if you start with five minutes of going for a walk. In fact, that was what I did. On the days that I think, I don't have time to do this. Just five minutes. You only have to go for five minutes. Usually I get out there and I go longer. But if five minutes is where you, what you can do, do it. Experience is twofold. It's being in the present. It's the being here now so that you can experience what's around you. And whether it's, it's the weather, uh, the rain, there's plenty of that, or sunshine, or just the reflection of the clouds on the water. Just be in the moment and let yourself absorb that. Let your senses be still. This is where also meditation comes in, is under experience. And I really do hope you'll consider getting a tape and starting meditation. And the one I like is your present one half hour of peace. So experience, it can be experiencing food. Taste what you're ta eating, because that helps too. N is for nourish. And that really means eating your four or five, six small meals a day. It means grazing. And look for color. Colorful. The more colorful the food, the healthier it is. Blueberries are full of antioxidants. So make it a point to look for things that are color, colorful to you, that appeal to you. Whites and browns are not in that group. So look for the reds and the yellows and the bright greens, especially anything that grows. The T is for touch, and that means physically touching another person. And we hear a lot of, about that in healing, but my own experience was with my husband. We were going to go out in Queen Charlotte Islands where there was nobody around. And he has atrial fibrillation, an irregular heartbeat. So being that he's a doctor, of course, he knows what to do about it. But after a couple of hours, I'm thinking, this isn't really so good. I'm not going anywhere with him like this. So we go to the hospital. They hook him up, and they're figuring out what was wrong with him. And then as I was sitting there, you know, I touched his arm, like a good wife, and the blood pressure went down. So I took it away, the blood pressure went up. So I touched him again, it went down. So, back and forth, back and forth, until I said, stop it. But it was so powerful to see what a dramatic difference it made in, in just a very primitive response. And I find with couples, if they're arguing, and they're really upset. When you touch him, when you touch a man, his brain changes. So when he's really mad and upset, he's in his fight, flight, freeze, or surrender mode. He can't hear you. So the louder you talk, the louder you talk. But it isn't getting any closer. You touch him, and his brain changes. He can relax. He's safe. And there's even a chance he'll hear you. But without that, the brain just keeps going into its fight, flight, freeze, or surrender. So touch is a powerful tool. And the next thing in mental is appreciate. 
And that doesn't mean, it means gratitude, but it doesn't just mean gratitude for what other people do for you. It means gratitude for yourself and appreciation for yourself. That so often we're so much more critical of ourselves than we are appreciative. Think about your abilities. Think about your family. Think about the things that you can do and offer to other people. A lot of people are journaling. Don't journal about everything bad that happened. Journal about everything good that happened. And if you're thinking about a friend, do a little inventory. What do I like about my friends? Pick up the phone, give them a call. You know, I really love your sense of humor and I'm so glad you're my friend. Because you get a hit of endorphins and so do they. So whatever we give, we get. You get mad at somebody and yell them. You get steroids, they get steroids. You smile and tell them how lucky you are to be in their life. You get endorphins and so do they. And last but not least is my favorite, which is laugh. You can get the most endorphins from a big belly laugh as you can anywhere. So watch some late night TV. Record it so that you can go to sleep on time. Uh, do, watch the comedy channel. Go to some funny movies. Tell a friend a joke. Tell a friend a joke and you both laugh. You get endorphins. So do they. So these are things that you can do every single day. I have a little bookmark called Mental that has M-E-N-T-A-L. And in the book, there's examples of things you can do in each of these areas. So, you know, I hope that you will be able to make seeking endorphins, finding joy in everyday life, and meaning is, is just the essential part of every day of your life because you have a choice as to what you think, how you live, and how you affect the world. So this is what Bounce Be Transformed is all about. We have our website uh, that you're welcome to visit. And this has been a lovely experience with Chat with Women. And um, thank you for listening.